we're about to head out. It's warming up a little bit now, and I think it's gonna get into the 60s today. We're about to go. I've got my Herpin protein shake, protein powder, of course. It's got ice cream, peanut butter, all the good stuff. And orange vest, because it is hunting season. I don't know if there's gonna be anyone out hunting where I'm at, but it's also, I got an orange hat on. It's just better safe than sorry. All right, let's get moving. I had one task in a home. I had to draw water from the well for my father's horse. That's some clear, clean water. Nice little seep. I was the least among my brothers, and I would be the last among them to hold. That is a nice looking stump hole. If it wasn't so cloudy out, it'd be a perfect place for a timber to be nestled in right there, coming out to bask. So if the sun comes out later, I might come back and hit the spot, but for now, I'm thinking about moving on to one of my old trusty salamander spots where I know I'm more likely to find something. So it's not flooded yet, which is kind of what I was hoping for, that we'd have at least a little bit of water in here, but because it rained all last night, but apparently it didn't rain quite enough. So I'm about to do some flipping and hopefully we can turn up something. I'm gonna go straight to the log that usually produces. So we'll see what happens. All right guys, just flip this log. And right there, I don't know if you can see that, right below that leaf see that little glimmer of white that is a male marbled salamander it's a little guy cute as can be I'm gonna put this back down I love these guys I thought the weather was perfect for them but it's kind of getting discouraged there the log that usually has them under it did not have any so Good to see you one. But I could feel the heat from old lightning. By the way, guys, I'm sorry if the video quality is not quite as nice since the last clip, but it's uh, I'm using my phone because I didn't have my camera today. I wasn't expecting it to rain like this and have such good salamander weather, so I didn't grab my camera. It wasn't in my car, so I'm just gonna have to video on my phone, which is about to die. So hopefully we can turn something up here before that happens. It's cold out here. <laughs> I'm not wearing a jacket. I like the cold, but oh my gosh, I don't have a jacket on and it's freezing out here. Yeah. It's okay, a salamander will make it worth it. Oh, just got the first salamander of the day and it's a slimy. Won't complain about that. Oh. Yeah, it looks like, whoa, he's lost his tail in the past at some point, but of course has regrown it, it's just a little bit shorter, it's, I guess it's in the process of regrowing. Beautiful little salamanders. There's a bunch of different subspecies of slimy salamander, but they're all beautiful. I'm going to put him back under his whatever that is, and keep moving. Oh, this little stream here looks really good, but as of yet, I haven't found anything but slimies around it. Looks beautiful, though. It's good stuff. All right, guys, just flipped the first Embistum of the day. It's a marbled. Pretty big one, too. Beautiful salamanders. That's a good-sized male. I just saw his little face sticking out of a hole underneath the log. So really glad I got to see him and pulled him out of there so you guys could take a look at him. All right guys, so this is what I've been waiting to observe. Hold on, let me grab this guy again real quick just so I can show you this. You sit right there, sir. Thank you. So if I roll this log right here, I'm gonna be careful not to disturb this, but now that it's raining and this place is gonna be filling up with water soon, this right here is a female marbled salamander with eggs so you can see she's curled around them there keeping them safe and she's going to stay with them until this place floods and 
the rains make it possible for these eggs to hatch because like I've said in previous videos these eggs will not hatch until they're submerged but I'm not going to disturb this too much I don't even I shouldn't even be touching her like that I just wanted to get a good shot of her and show you there's the male you can see he's much brighter and uh, the female is much more drab in her coloration and markings so very cool I've been wanting to see that out here I've just been waiting on the rains to come so that they'll start laying and getting ready to make some baby salamanders really cool glad I got to see us today this totally makes it worth coming out here in the cold rain he's a leopard frog a very cold leopard frog oh my goodness he's still putting up a fight there we go it's kind of a dull cold one but nevertheless a leopard frog and another amphibian found today neat looking little dudes they're what's known as true frogs and they just have that really cool look to them. Look kind of like an old knot on a log. But in a good way, you know? Alrighty guys, well finding that female marbled salamander on eggs totally made the trip out here worth. But uh, anyway, I know this video was all salamanders, but hey, I love salamanders. I like amphibians just as much as I love reptiles. And I hope you guys do too. I'm gonna be finding a lot of them here in the near future because of how cold it's getting. In a few days, I'm going to be heading down to the Everglades to do some herping down there. That's going to be a really good time. We're going to find some awesome stuff, I know. And, uh, of course, you can expect exotics, invasives, all that good stuff. But until then, I'm signing off for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you next time.